I'm a little worried. <laughs> I've just been talking to the studio audience because I like to talk to them before we start the show because we're live, you know, we're live. <laughs> Unless, of course, it's a rerun, in which case, we're still live. <laughs> and I know you're like, well, how, how can you... I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. Uh -huh. I agree. It's like, you're thinking, Craig, how can you be live if it's a rerun? I'll tell you why, because I'm an immigrant. <laughs> and the deal I have with CBS is, uh, for the reruns, I have to come back and just do the show again. And this is my problem, because tonight's show is actually a rerun of September the 4th, 2007. <laughs> now, you see my problem, because I've forgotten what I did that night. <laughs> I think it was something to do with, oh, cheeky monkeys, and... <laughs> pretending to be Scottish and everything, and, uh, but I can't say for sure. <laughs> anyway, um, I think what happened that night is I was, uh, I was putting on a shirt to come out and start the show, and you know those little plastic things that they have? <laughs> in, they have little plastic things in dress shirts, and... I was putting the shirt on, and guys know this, if you're putting on a dress shirt and you're kind of in a hurry and those little plastic things are in the little thing and you, you put it on, and I stabbed myself in a delicate area, the part of the body that doctors call your junk. <laughs> uh, at least I think he was a doctor. <laughs> yes, uh, I'd like to see your junk. Are you a doctor? Sure, why not? Anyway, um, was that oh yeah, so welcome to the rerun of September the 4th, 2007 show where we're very excited tonight because we've got all the cast from the, sh the hit show, Joey. <laughs> Remember that? Yeah, we'll be right back. studio audience, you've pissed off everybody at home. They're like, oh, that's... There's no way he's that good. We're going to bed. <laughs> Why are they applauding him? He walked from there to there. I could do that. <laughs> You're right, you could. And probably better than me. <laughs> do you know what happened to me just before I came out? I had my shirt on. You know, guys, you'll know this. You, uh... You put your shirt on, and sometimes you put a new shirt on, they put these collar stiffener things, but they put them in there, that part of your shirt. <laughs> so little things to get your collar stiff, and it, like, it stabbed me. <laughs> it did. It stabbed me. Oh, yeah, great. <laughs> applaud my pain. What the hell? Why would you applaud that? <laughs> these people don't like me. <laughs> But I don't care, cos it's a great day for America, everybody, yes it is. It's been... Oh, yeah. 
I tell you, apart apart from that, that part of my plastic thing in my shirt stabbing me in the right testicle, everything's been awesome. <laughs> you said right testicle, implying you have two. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, God. It's been crazy this week. You know what's happened? R. Kelly released a new song, right? And it's called Number One. <laughs> Is that really the best title for a song if you're the guy that got arrested for going wee-wee on someone? <laughs> now, I offer that up as a discussion for you. I'm not offering it. I'm not saying it's a joke. It's just a discussion. Maybe in your book club you could discuss that. <laughs> I'm like Oprah, but poor. <laughs> you know that scientists uh, say there's been a very sudden increase with fish who have got both male and female sex organs. Unfortunately, the scientists didn't find this out until the fish were back at their place. <laughs> All right, that's enough, that's enough. There's... <laughs> well, you've gone to all that trouble, might as well just keep going. <laughs> ah, there's a big movie opening today I'm very excited about. It's a remake of the movie Fame. You know, I love the dance movies. My favourite was Footloose. You know, when you dance like one of your feet was loose, you're like... Oh. <laughs> food loose, my food's loose. So my food is loose. That movie was ahead of its time. It was before the discovery of restless leg syndrome. <laughs> Foods loose. No, you're, you're, you're not dancing. You've got a serious condition. Foods loose. <laughs> Do you know the original, the original fame movie was from the 19, uh, 1980, I think it was. Actually, 1980. Times have changed. Back then, if you wanted fame, you actually had to do something. These days, you want fame, you just have eight babies. You're good. <laughs> I'm kidding. Hey, babies. Uh, um, I hope everyone in the new fame movie wears leg warmers and mesh tank tops, though, like in the night. That's what I'll be wearing when I go to see it. Anyway, I'll be like, yeah, hey, hey. If they're not, I'll throw my Rubik's Cube at the screen. I like dance movies. I'm not a great dancer, though. I feel very self-conscious. They say you should dance like nobody's watching, which you think I'd be used to, really. <laughs> but... Please. Oh, wait, no. So that... Let me just get this straight. Let me just understand what's going on. So that's a round of applause if I stab myself in the <laughs> testicle with a piece of plastic, and if I fail as well, that's also a round of applause. I see where you're coming from, and I like it. <laughs> Now, they say... They say that if a man is a good dancer, he must be good in bed. And I admit, I am not great in bed. <laughs> but I do compensate by having a very large penis. <laughs> Why do you think I'm so upbeat? I always look very uncomfortable when I'm dancing because these dollar bills ride up my thong. <laughs> <laughs> that, that and my giant penis gets in the way of the night. <laughs> well, there aren't a lot of men who can dance well, really. I mean, it's Justin Timberlake and gay guys. That's it. <laughs> Justin Timberlake and gay guys. Very different, of course. Um... Actually... <laughs> anyway, dancing is something you can... You, can you, you can't learn dancing in a day. It takes a lifetime to master it. Like all the great art forms, painting, sculpture, um, bedazzling. It takes a lifetime. <laughs> the dancer... Mata Hari was a dancer. Uh, and she said, the dancer is a poem where each movement is a word. But Mata Hari was also a spy for the Germans during World War I. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> so she also said, Tell the Kaiser I hid the codes in my pooping sack. <laughs> 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 
Did I just do a Mata Hari Kaiser joke? <laughs> Take that, you topical guys. <laughs> hey, you heard about the Kaiser? Uh, hey. He's massing his armies on the border with Belgium. <laughs> that... Oh, no, well, let me just get this straight then. So it's a round of applause for stabbing myself in the testicle, failing, and the start of World War One. <laughs> I'm right. I'm right. All right. There's a lot. Of, there's a lot of dance shows on the TV that I enjoy, like the Dancing with the Stars, and so you think you can dance that other one with uh, what's it? Dance, dance, you fat bastards. That one. <laughs> To love myself. <laughs> My favourite is uh, dance or I'll punch you in the face. <laughs> I, all right, I just made that one up. It was actually that was an idea that uh, CBS turned it down. <laughs> so I got a great idea for a dance show: dance or I'll punch you in the face. It's like no. They turned it down along with my other dear. My other dear. <laughs> you have another dear? Yes. <laughs> Oh, really? I completely screwed up what I was doing there. I thought that might have got a round of applause. <laughs> Thank you. We'll be seeing you in a And now, celebrities read excerpts from Craig's book. A late-night talk show host is supposed to be cool. I'm not for a second suggesting that I am cool. I am a middle-aged white man with graying hair, a thickening waist, and a creepy laugh. That is not cool. That was Celebrities Read Excerpts from Craig's book. American on Purpose is now available at all finer bookstores. If you experience an erection lasting longer than four hours, please call a doctor or Craig Ferguson. Welcome back to the rerun of the September the 4th, 2007 show, which I'm doing live. <laughs> How can you do that, Craig? Because you're high. <laughs> do you know what, actually, I found out during the commercial break? This is going to astonish you. We checked, and September the 4th, 2007 was actually a rerun. <laughs> So, actually, the show that we're doing is the rerun of... But, but where, what was it a rerun of? That's what I need to know. Jason Priestley. It was Jason Priestley oh. and Sherry Shepard. They, they were the... Uh, thanks, dark stranger. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, thanks, guy creeping away in the shadows. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. We only have one flashlight. trying to show the producer like they do on real TV shows? You can't do that! Not with this equipment! <laughs> anyway, the guests uh, tonight, uh, if this were a rerun, were Jason Priestley, which it is, but we're just doing it live, <laughs> Jason Priestley and uh, Sherry Shepard. Unfortunately, they weren't available to recreate the magic. <laughs> that happened that night oh so many years ago. <laughs> I have to say it like that, oh so many years ago, because this will probably be used as a rerun at some point. <laughs> and I don't want anyone to get confused. So tonight's guest, the part of Jason Priestley, will be played by Ted Danson. <laughs> Who, I will be honest, when he comes out, might not know what we're talking about. <laughs> so I'll just talk to him like he really is Ted Danson, but we'll know he's really Jason Priestley. <laughs> and if any of you tell him, I'll be very upset. <laughs> and 
The other guests tonight are Christopher Miller and Phil Lord. They'll be taking the role of Sherry Shepherd. Now, I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. Who are Christopher Miller and Phil Lord? I'll tell you. They are the directors and writers of a movie called Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs that's just come out. It's very, very funny, and I've seen it. I know you're thinking, but Craig, that movie wasn't out in 2007. <laughs> and I'm like, that's all right, because they're really Sherry Shepard. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to the date to be announced show. <laughs> where my guests will be celebrities. <laughs> <laughs> you know, see, if I was back in the day, if I, you know, was watching TV and there was some douchebag like me on talking like this, and I was like, you know, smoking a herbal cigarette with my buddies, I'd be like, this would really freak me out. <laughs> Um, ba -ba -ba -da -ba -da -dee. This is our. Do we have time for emails? Yeah, we got about two years. <laughs> <laughs> this is from. Uh... <laughs> I made myself laugh there. <laughs> this is from Daniel in Manchester, Connecticut. Uh, he says, uh, I think so, it might be Manchester, England. All right. Uh, dear Craig, why do we use a French word for the Renaissance if it took place in Italy? <laughs> why do you call your town Manchester when it's in Connecticut when there's Manchester in England? For... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Give me a couple of years, I'll get back to you on that. Uh, all right, this is uh, from Susan. Uh, I think I know him. Uh, Susan <laughs> in Los Altos uh, in California. California. I get, I get stuck saying California. Dear Craig, says Susan, in a voice much like that. Dear Craig, <laughs> what contributions do late night talk shows make to the growth of society as a whole? Does your show make more or less contributions than the average show? None less. <laughs> This is from George in Dover in Massachusetts. Uh, George says, uh, Dear Craig, do you happen to know where I parked my car? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Next to the dumpster. <laughs> where you left the hobo you killed. <laughs> hey, wait, wait, wait. I'm just helping the police. <laughs> Look, it happened a very long time ago. It's a, it's a cold case now. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I can keep going with this thing. Um, this is from Trilly in Knoxville, Tennessee. Uh, Trilly says, Dear Craig, isn't it time you join some crazy religion? It is the only way America will accept you as a true celebrity. <laughs> Actually, it's now I want to talk to you about snakeism. <laughs> a few years ago, about September the 4th, 2007, <laughs> I got involved with a cult. <laughs> and I'm still in them. We believe that snakes are awesome <laughs> and that it's cool to be strict with your pets.
And that's all we believe in. <laughs> and people think that's great. Uh, <laughs> apart from the being strict with your pets thing. <laughs> but not too strict, not cruel. You know, just like, you know, giving them boundaries <laughs> that they can work with. I hope I haven't put you off the show with my love of... What the hell did I love again? <laughs> Snakeism. All right, we'll be right back, everyone. The big show of the night. And uh, <laughs> my first guest tonight is an award winning actor. He's in a new series, Bored to Death, and also he was in 90210. And. <laughs> <laughs> Just work with me on it, right? Just work with me. He's like, was Ted dancing in 90210? No, he wasn't. But Jason Priestley was. <laughs> Anyway, he's in this new show, which is uh, called Bored to Death, which I'm sure he'll enjoy after his years in... <laughs> uh, it airs on Sunday nights on HBO. Take a look at this. Yeah, you have got to get this screenplay back. You know, Jarmish is going to blame me. I'm sorry, George. You know, I think you did this on purpose. You self-sabotaged. George, are you coming back to bed? I'm lonely. In, in a minute, put on the TV. Who's in there? Uh, Miriam from the other night. She's no Priscilla, but she's, she's wonderful. You know, I'm, I'm very oral nowadays. I feel like I'm half man, half infant. <laughs> Please welcome Ted Danson, everybody. Ted Danson. Welcome. Welcome, please. No, no, we don't need him. Come on, sit down, Ted. Relax, enjoy yourself. Very nice to see you again, Ted. I prepared for... <laughs> I, I prepared for every... Yeah, you... You'll be all right. Okay. It's good to see you. How nice are you, my friend? Nice to see you. Very it's, well. It's lovely to see you again. I haven't seen you since, ooh, September the 4th, 2007. <laughs> did you bring a book with you? Do you expect I to did? be bored? No, this is a gift. This is a gift for you, because uh, I know we have similar reading habits. Don't you love Alan Kerr? Uh, Alan, Alan, Alan first? Uh, first. Yes, I do. Yeah, one yeah. of my favorites, and you will love this. Absolutely really? love it, yeah. Well, well have you been, are you keeping your place? Are you reading it at the moment? Or? <laughs> That's the card you gave me, Ted. Welcome back, Craig. And All I right. just thought I'd keep it there to make it look like I was being thoughtful. <laughs> Oh, so to make it look like I had you, you had given me a card yes. by using the card I just this very minute gave yes. you? I, I hope that's not too convoluted for you. <laughs> hey, you get something, you run with it. You know what I'm saying? And anyway, I mean, it's, it's years now since you were on 90210. You have monitors backstage. <laughs> I saw the whole thing. Look, Jason Priestley is a perfectly nice man. There's nothing he wrong is. with getting called Jason Priestley. None. A lot of actors would be happy to be called Jason Priestley. And let Not me necessarily ask you, you, but... you think that if you say testicle and, and penis, that that makes it okay that you're using, like, technical terms? That you're not, like, offending people by... By saying doing testicle the whole and penis? ...private thing? Yeah. And you're sitting... <laughs> you're sitting way too high. You should be lower. <laughs> what are you doing, Ted? What are you, what are you doing? You're the, gazing the, at my the, testicle and penis. The Jason in me is offended, man. <laughs> totally offended. By the way, can we stop this just yes. saying it in the singular word about testicle? There are, you know... I got a whole bunch of them down there. It must be about 14. <laughs> nice. Yeah, well, you know, although I do jangle when I walk. Hey! <laughs> I bet they'd love to see that. No, no, you, you, oh, okay. you can't All see right. it. When right. I go to HBO, though, Paul, you oh, bet. Uh, 
We can do anything on HBO. Yeah, you can. That, anything. In that clip there, you were talking like, you know, yeah. do you... And you cut the clip before she came on stage. Oh, which, is, yeah. is it, is it... By hoof, I mean not as beautiful as my wife. Yes, yes, uh, of course. Nowhere near. No, you're... Your lovely wife, uh, yeah, your lovely wife, of course, uh, Mrs. Priestley. <laughs> yes, my lovely wife, Mrs. Priestley. How, how, how is your wife, and 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 how were you, how was your summer? Because I kept seeing on the intergoogles and the yeah, and the newspapers yeah. that you were hosting the the uh, a big Chelsea you know, Clinton wedding in your house. Crazy? Is that true? No, it was total rumor. And the more we said, you know, people in the market would come up and go, "Hey, we hear you, wonderful the wedding, wonderful." We go, "No, there is no wedding. That's a rumor." Okay, we won't say anything. <laughs> no, it's, it, you know, literally to the point where we would get uh, caterers calling us pissed off, pissed off that you can, <laughs> we didn't ask them to what cater their the, wedding. Was there a ripple in the matrix there or something? Yeah. What happened? Uh, pissed off testicles, oh, oh, penis. Oh, right, I didn't, I I didn't no, know where it, we were. Don't, because we're getting into tonnage now. Okay. Right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, only That's certain what they amount say. Yeah, you only, you only get a yeah. certain amount of penis <laughs> before. <laughs> Before you said you had 12. No, mm -hmm. no. So that did you, you must have used them all up. <laughs> yeah, I did. It's like, yeah. it's like you know, it's like Tunnel. alive in a video game or something right. like that. That's you know, so yeah. Funny. yeah. Do you play the video games, Dad? Do you enjoy them? No. Why not? Uh, the moronic. <laughs> I, no, I just said I'm not good at them. My kids are so much better than I. I love Wii. Are you kidding? Yes, the answer is yes. I well, love oh, really? Oh, you yeah. like the Wiis? I do. I love uh, the Wii. Do you, the, uh, the Wii bowling, I sometimes do Wii that. Wii bowling. Mary could kick your ass. Mary. So good at bowling. Mary, your wife? Mary, Mary Priestley? My, Mary Priestley, my yeah, wife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, see, in, the, uh, in, the, in the, the show you're doing, the uh, Bored to Death show, yeah, yeah. you got Jason Schwartzman in that. Yeah. And he was here last night. He's very, very He's funny, very, very, very funny. Sweet man. Yeah. But he, He's he was, crazy about me, too. But go on, About go on. you? I, I kind of got a vibe he liked yeah. me. Yeah, well... <laughs> he's, he's good at giving you that impression, but... Uh, was he playing me? Yeah, he was playing you. <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah. Why are you trying to make me jealous? <laughs> I'm sorry. You're moving really fast for me now. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. So, so, now listen. Yes. Are you going to do the uh, Curb Your Enthusiasm again? Yeah, Mary and I were in two or three of them. Uh, it is truly the most funny uh, year of that show. We've seen about four or five. We're friends. We live on the... With Larry David? Yeah. With is he, he very, very cheap? He's, he was quite cheap when he was here. Mary, <laughs> Mary kind of, yeah, spilled the beans. Like, totally cheap. He doesn't well, pay he, you. He, I mean, he, he doesn't even write the words that you're supposed to say. That's, that's how right. He just, it's improv. Yeah, improv. improv. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So. And then he gets writer's awards, you know, writing <laughs> my ass. And, and then when he was here, you know, yeah. like, you know how sometimes we put out snacks for the actors? Yeah. He took them. I, yeah. <laughs> And I heard he was totally charming when he was on the show. When he walked out, he was like, just t so, you know, just ignored everybody and was just going through every moment and was just his normal rude. It, it's, it's like you know him. I do know him. Yeah. <laughs> he, he, the new thing this, this summer was he will not come to dinner at your house. We can go to a restaurant, but if I go to your house, I'll feel trapped and I can't get up and leave. <laughs> you know? Do you... Do you trap people at your and house? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you, you and your wife Mary Priestley are quite famous for that. Well, we are <laughs> trapping people Come at your to my house web. Yes. and trying to get them to marry Chelsea Clinton. It's very. Uh, everybody knows that about you. I. F it's. Uh, it's amazing. I, I usually touch you at this point in the show, yeah, yeah, and, yeah. I, and I haven't. You don't. You don't. I, I think you got some kind of thing going with Jason Schwartzman. That's what it is. Don't, don't do that again. The word to do this? No, that. Oh, no, I'm not doing that. Yeah. Like that? Like this? <laughs> Would you like me to seduce you? Is that what you're trying no, to tell me? You, you, you did my wife. I'm good. Thanks. I Seduced. did not. Seduced. 
Seduce. Oh, oh, right. Oh, Seduce. okay. Yeah. Ted, we're out of time. Uh, you know, it's. I'm, I've had it. it. I'm out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you done? I'm out. All right. Ted Danson, everybody. Bye. Bye. Welcome back to the show, which is um, on now. <laughs> My next guests uh, wrote and directed the movie Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs, and they're also a host uh, girl on The View. And... <laughs> uh, it's a great movie, this movie. I saw this movie. It's fantastic. It's really good. That's the only reason I had them on. Because I don't know them or anything. It's not like I was going, oh, I'll get my friends on when they make the movie. I, I saw the movie, I didn't know they were. I went, oh, I must have them on in a show, in a show that I made two years ago. <laughs> it's a great movie. Take a look at this. You want to be in a snowball fight with us? Like this? <clears throat> no. Harder than that. Oh. Chris, Phil. Yes. yes. Or like, exactly. Sherry, what? whatever you like. You What's know? that? Sherry, or Sherry, Shepherd. Shepherd. No, no, no. I, okay. it, <laughs> That's fine. I didn't really work with Ted either. I All said right. to Ted uh, Danson that, you know, he, he should be Jason Priestley, and he mocked me. <laughs> Congratulations on the oh, film. Thank it's you fantastic. Thank you so much. Yeah. I mean, it really is fantastic. Have you always been uh, uh, animators? Are you animators? Um, no, actually, we were working on the hilarious CB CBS show How I Met Your Mother before this. You, you used to work for CBS? Yeah, no. believe it or not. <laughs> now you're making big timey animated movies? <laughs> Help me. <laughs> <laughs> I can come with you. Yeah, come along. I can, I can help. I can pretend to be two years ago. Well, yeah. That's my thing. Yeah, if we were two years ago, <laughs> yeah. you could totally come and be part of it. Yeah. That's what I'll do. I'll finish up this show tonight. It'll be two years ago. I'll come and help you. I'll get a co-director credit. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> How is that? My head hurts. Yeah, I know. It's yeah. all right. So listen, uh, how, how did you get involved in the world of animation then? How did you get dragged into that, if you were? Um, go well, on. Chris and I met in college, and, uh, and there was an article written about Chris in the local like Dartmouth paper. Or the uh, court roundup or something? Yeah, you know, yeah. the police blotter, yeah. yeah. What would you do? Um, yeah, I, uh, we'd wear uh, with R. Kelly um, in the wrong place. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. <laughs> no, I, uh, I would. We can cut that out. Yeah, we, we'll we, just... got... <laughs> we'll fix we, that we, got, we got two years to edit this, That's baby. Right, <laughs> <laughs> no, you, you were, so you were in the paper and you saw him in the paper and you thought, oh gosh, he's attractive, I'd like to make a film with yep. him. Yep, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we were already friends and, and they send this magazine out to like all of the, the people who uh, might potentially donate money to Dartmouth. Uh, where we went to college. Dartmouth? Yep. Hanover, New Hampshire? Yep. Oh, yeah. I know, I love that town. Oh, it's, it's very nice. Very Did cute. you ever go to Molly's Balloon? Yes, oh, I've been yeah. to Molly's Balloon. <laughs> Molly's Balloon is a great place a to go. lovely restaurant. Yeah, it's yep. very nice. And the wait staff are very attractive. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. But I don't, I don't like the, the diner across the street. What's the name of that one? The one that's been there for like you? don't like Lou's. Lou's, no. Uh, no, I went there. No, they were very Color French to Toast. You don't like that? I never got a chance to eat it, and All I'll right. tell you why. What happened? I oh, went to lose, and they were kind of like, oh, we don't have a table. I'm like, well, there's a table right there. And they went, oh, no, that's Dr. Trousers' table or something. And they went, <laughs> oh. 
You're not me, the biggest star in Hanover, New Hampshire? Yeah, 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 yeah. What? I Thanks. was out celebrity Incredible. <laughs> by, by Dr. Trousers? Dr. Trousers. Yeah, yeah, I'm, sorry. I'm surprised you didn't run he's into him. There, yeah, he he's big there, though. Yeah, he is. Very, he's very big, Trousers. He's not. In uh, Hanover, New Hampshire, when you go to college there, they, they have a big bonfire in the middle of the yeah, town. Yeah, the ha and homecoming. Yep. Yeah, do you guys, like, you, you, you run around it as many times it? as you're, it's, a, you know, it's optional. Uh -huh. Shirt's optional. <laughs> You get like a big sunburn on one side of your body, and the other side is and then horribly so you, pale. And that's how you had the idea of doing the movie. Exactly. Yeah. That, that's where I we mean, came in a roundabout out. way. <laughs> yes. Something like that. How did you get Mr. T to do that? Oh He's my so goodness. great. He's in the film. awesome. Mr. Did you T? see him like working the red carpet? And, yeah, no, it's fine. I was I was too scared to talk to him because he's oh Mr. My gosh. T. I know. He he's stuck touched. around and hugged everybody and took pictures. He's hilarious. Yeah, no, he's very yeah. funny. I pity the fool that doesn't love Mr. T. Oh, yeah. I, <laughs> As do we. I mean, uh, you know, the first time we met him, we, uh, um, we were like, Mr. T, would you like some coffee? And he said, you don't ask Mr. T if he wants coffee. Do you ask Mr. Coffee if he wants tea? <laughs> we're, like, we're like, I love you. I love you. He has a whole routine. The, he works on tea punning? Oh, he my does. God. And there's so many different things that start with tea. He'll say, like, I'm, I always show up on time. The tea stands for time. Uh, I got, I, I'll I give can, you I can do it. I, testicles. <laughs> yes. Jesus. I can do it. Yes. I got it. Now, the, 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 the book, The Cloudy with a Chance of Meat Boils. Meat Boils? The, yes, the, Meat Boils. I, I've read that book over and over to my son, and uh, it's very beautiful uh, pictures in the book, but, uh, and the story is very sweet, but not very... I, I mean, it's not very long. I'm amazed you got a movie out of this. I mean, it's, it, you completely... <laughs> Wrote, you wrote another movie and just had meatballs in it, didn't you? Really? Right, right, right. It was a script we already had, and we just shoved it onto the book. Yeah, that's right. right. Um, it's about a detective who finds <laughs> yeah. meatballs. We finally, ah, we figured it out. Um, no, I mean, the book is so rich with detail, and the illustrations are so great. And, right. Uh, and it, it's a childhood, you know, favorite of ours. So um, really, uh, it was just taking that structure of the book and realizing that um, it's basically a Jerry Bruckheimer movie um, in children's book form. It, it came yeah. To yeah. yeah, there's I mean, like giant was, pickles smashing into buildings and pancakes fantastic. covering schools. Yeah. No, my son was sitting there with these little 3D glasses on and he was eating his popcorn. He's like, isn't this great? It's great. <laughs> and I was like, usually when he's like that, I'm like, oh yeah, it's great. But I'm like, yeah, it's great. It's awesome. <laughs> you guys ate so much popcorn. It really, it really is fantastic. It's a masterpiece. Well oh, done. You're crazy. Really, no, it is. It's great and and really well done. I I I I, I could not. Uh, be more impressed. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, Chris you so much. Everybody, really, really much. What did we learn on the show tonight, Greg? Meow. <laughs> Well, I think what we learned tonight uh, is that um, September the 4th, 2007, <laughs> uh, that wasn't a really a very good show, was it? Uh, <laughs> But it was vastly improved by having Ted Danson stand in for Jason Priestley. He was very good. Now, that in no way implies that Jason Priestley wasn't excellent as himself. <laughs> oh, I really got myself tied in knots in this one tonight. I, I, really, I didn't think it through. I started off going, oh, that'll be funny. I'll just do ha, 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 and then... And now I'm deeply confused by what's been going on. But that's all right, because I've learned how to work through my confusion and a way to help me in my life to achieve my goals and serenity. <laughs> and that's through snakeism. I would now like to bid you good night to doing the snakeism secret wave. <laughs> good night, everyone.